Hello students, welcome back to our channel Food Tech Online. So our today's session is for ICRPG Food Science and Technologies MCQ Set 1. So let's start. Our first question is, fog is an example of which type of colloidal solution? Colli colloidal system. So the correct answer is solid in gas and liquid in gas. Fog is a mixture of solid and liquid. We can't hold it. We can't uh, leave it. Uh, it's a foggy solution. So the correct answer for this question is solid and gas and liquid and gas. Our next question is which one is an example of gel? So the correct answer is fog as, as well. The next question is, which of the following physical quantities of storage food can be tested? So the options are odor measurement, mechanical texture meters. So as we can see, both the things can be measured uh, for storage food can be tested. So the correct answer is odor measurement and mechanical texture meter. The next question is relationship between time and temperature to determine the stability of food product as obtained by using which of the following data. So the answer is all of the above. So uh, this covers all the three uh, options like measurement of product quality, the number of days stored and the storage temperature. The next question is which among these two vitamins retention test and sensory quality test should be used as a basis for determining temperature or time of storage of food items which are intended as primary or important source of thiamine or ascorbic acid. So the answer is vitamin retention test. Vitamin retention test is used for determining temperature or time of storage of food items. The next question is the outbreaks traced to foods from food processing plant are co contributed due to which of the following factors? So the answer for this question is also all of the above. Inadequate refrigeration preparing food items too far in advance and food items reinfected after final heat processing. These are the outbreaks traced to food from food processing plants. The next question is which does the following task comes under Maintaining inventory of food processing system and their environments. So the answer for this question is physical system hazard control. These are the basic tasks comes under food processing industries. The next question is the total number of essential vitamins required for the proper functioning of human body. As we can see, we have multiple types of vitamins which is present like vitamin A, D, E, K, and we have also water soluble vitamins like B and C. So the essential vitamins which are required for the health and development of our body that is 13 vitamins. The next question is which of the following vitamins cannot be produced by our own body? So the answer is all of the above. These all are the vitamins which is not produced by our body. We have to take intake these vitamins through our diet. The next question is which of the following minerals control growth and body weight? So the answer for this question is iodine. Iodine is the mineral which is used for the control and maintenance or body weight control. The next question is dash help in the regulation of blood volume and blood pressure. This question I think all of us knows because sodium helps us to regulate our blood pressures and volumes etc. The next question is which of the following are examples of macro minerals? Macro minerals are all of them sodium, calcium and chloride. All of them are the minerals my macro minerals which are required which are uh, are the examples of uh, macro minerals so the next question is excessive intake of calcium in our diet results in so the correct answer is kidney stones excessive intake excessive intake like uh, more than enough intake of calcium 
results kidney stones the next question is onion broccoli fresh fruits milk eggs and iodine so iodized salts are good source of so the correct answer is both b and c like sodium and iodine are the good source are the uh, good source uh, which includes foods like i onion broccoli fru fresh fruits milks eggs and salt the next question is the elements present in the protein are protein uh, elements which are present in protein are carbon carbon hydrogen nitrogen and oxygen the next question is the basic structure of amino acids consists of a central carbon atom also known as alpha carbon bonded to so the correct answer is amino group carboxyl group and hydrogen atom in, in this is the formation this is this basic structure of amino acid consists of amino acids are joined by as we all know peptide bonds are the bonds which which is used to um, join the amino acids the primary structure of protein presents is represents is linear sequence of amino acid joined by a peptide bond which is known as a protein like uh, multiple or uh, multiple number of amino acids are joined with the help of peptide bonds and this structure forms a linear structure of protein chain the next question is which type of bonding is responsible for the secondary structure of protein so the correct answer is hydrogen bonding between the carbon and oxygen bond and nitrogen hydrogen groups of peptide bonds so uh, i think you all clear with this topic the next question is which of the following most accurately describe how secondary structure in protein is stabilized so the correct answer for this question is through hydrogen bonding join different parts of peptide backbones the next question is which of the following groups of chemical is not a food nutrient chemical which is not a food nutrients as we can see we have carbohydrate vitamins and proteins are the uh, nutrients or uh, food which we intake in our diet but enzymes are not the food nutrients the next question is most abundant protein is found in cytoplasm in our cytoplasm most abundant uh, protein is found the next question is which proteins are called messenger proteins so the answer is hormones hormonal proteins are the messenger proteins which works as a messenger in our body so the next question is which of the following protein increases the rate of chemical reaction in the body so the correct answer is enzymes enzymes are the substance which is used to increase or decrease the uh, rate of reaction in the body so the correct answer is enzymes so the next and the last question for this session is which proteins are called transport protein so the correct answer is hemoglobin is the protein which is used for transportation of proteins for today's class for uh, further videos and exams sub exams you can follow our channel for more updates on our app which is link which uh, which uh, which link is in the description box thank you have a nice day